Hey, folks, the man with the pinky ring and the New York thing, forget it, Bad Brad Berkman. And you're watching another episode of Bad Brad's Thoughts on the Ringside Report web TV channel. Make sure you hit that button, whatever corner it's in, and subscribe or hit your cell phone and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. We're picking up a lot of new subscribers uh, from around the world, and that's a great thing. Thank you so much. As well, follow me on Twitter at Bad Brad RSR. Again, it's at Bad Brad RSR. All right, folks, it's evening time, so let's get right into this episode of Bad Brad's Thoughts. The topic tonight is anti-vaxxers and people that are protesting about wearing a mask with the kids in schools and all of this stuff. First of all, for people that are pro-life and feel that they can tell a woman what to do with her body, which if you follow me on Twitter, I'm not for that. Okay, I'm pro-choice. Nobody, nobody has a right to tell a woman what to do. But these people consider themselves pro-life, but they won't wear a mask and they don't want their kids to wear a mask in school. And we see kids now are getting COVID and kids are dying from COVID, okay? But they don't want to wear a mask. So they want everything. They want them to go back to school and they don't want them to wear a mask while a lot of kids are wearing masks. In what universe does that make sense to you folks? You, you get everything you want. If you don't like that the school rules are wearing a mask, that's your prerogative. Then stay home and homeschool them. But they're so fucking inbred, I had to go there. They're so inbred that they don't want to homeschool. They want to push it off on a teacher because they can't spell school. So they protest and they have these signs and they attack. I saw an article today where a lady was walking her kid to school with mask on and they were attacking them. First of all, what the fuck makes you think that you have the right to tell anybody not to wear a mask if they want to wear one for the rest of their lives? Even if we never got COVID, it's their right. Like it's your right not to wear a mask, but you don't care about humanity because we got a fucking pandemic going on and we can't get past it because either you won't get anti, you, you won't get the vaccination or you get the vaccination, but you don't want to wear a mask anymore. Well, here's the thing. Rules are in place for a reason. If an establishment says wear a mask, then I'm wearing a mask. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't wear a mask all the time now. I don't. When we go... Uh, into places with a lot of people, I put a mask on. We go into the government building in Lake County to do our tax stuff. They require a mask. I wear a mask. I don't debate it. I'm not arguing with anybody. It's their rules. I go in a restaurant. They want you to wear a mask. I'm wearing a mask. Medical facility, they want you to wear a mask out here. I wear it. But these fuckers, they don't want to wear a mask. They want to do what they want when they want. Because Trump, which I put a tweet out earlier today, is solely responsible for this bullshit. You can blame QAnon and all that stuff. I know they continue it. Trump is solely responsible for this bullshit about masks. Because had that morbidly obese, racist, lying, orange traitor, prick, I added prick to that, worn a mask early on, a lot of people would have worn it, especially his cult. Would have worn the mask, but he wasn't going to wear it. Remember when he came back, he had supposedly had COVID? I do believe he had COVID, but I know there's people that don't, still don't believe it. He got the best medicine in the world, folks. He had it. Too many people would have had it been paid off and bought and everything else to say he didn't have COVID. I, there was just too many players. And there's a lot of people that probably treated him in hospitals that couldn't stand him. So they, it would have leaked. He gets off the helicopter. He walks up the stairs like he's a fucking dictator. Rips off the mask. Salute to helicopter. Who the fuck salutes a helicopter? I was in the military for 20 years and 28 days. I never saluted a helicopter, and I never saluted a communist general in North Korea, okay? But Trump, hey, he salutes everybody, all right? Rips the mask off because he's a, he's a, 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 a strong man. He's about as weak, as weak as a fucking limp noodle. But he wouldn't wear a mask. So you people today don't want to wear a mask. You want your kids to go to school. Or how about the ones that are sending their kids to school and they know they got COVID and they don't say nothing. Should be arrested and carted away. To you anti-vaxxers, you obviously don't give a shit about humanity, though you're pro-life and you're, you're the party of law and fucking order and all that bullshit that you claim, right? All that stuff, even though you attacked the, the heroes on January 6th, the Capitol Police. But you're so pro every fucking thing, but you're not pro humanity. And every day you show this shit. We live in Northwest Indiana. Debbie and I go to Valparaiso. We see people on the corner screaming, 
their rights not to wear a mask and this thing, you're taking my rights away. But you, but you want to take the rights away of women and tell them they can't have an abortion, they can't do what they want with their body. And I saw the court today, they held up the, the uh, Texas abortion law, whatever the hell you call it. But you can tell a woman what to do, but you can't be told to wear a mask. You can't be told, hey, if you make me go get a shot. No, you don't have to get vaccinated. It's your American right now to get vaccinated. But don't ever come around me and tell me you give a fuck about humanity. And don't ever come around and tell me that your sister died or your brother died or somebody else died that was close to you or your husband and your wife. And I should feel sorry for you because I don't. I don't feel fucking sorry for you because you know what? You don't care about humanity. So why should I care about you? I'm tired of the hypocrisy of it. To anybody at this point in Hollywood, in any franchise, uh, football, whether it's basketball, football, but I don't care who you are, that promotes bullshit lies and talks about getting anti-vax, you don't care about humanity even. I don't care how many good deeds you do. If you spread that crap about not getting vaccinated and you come up with shit that's not real, then you don't care about humanity. So you could do 100,000 good things that's one thing that, to me, it negates all the rest of it. How long is this going to go on? We should have been past this. Didn't Trump do enough damage to the country? And still is. But you won't get vaccinated. But you're, you're the party of caring about life, pro-life, and all of that shit. No, you're not. Quit fooling yourself. Look in the mirror. It's, it's disgusting. Every fucking day, it's this bullshit. You got people that won't get vaccinated. We've always had the nuts on the left and right on the fringes that you're going to get microchip, you're going to grow a third nipple, all that crazy shit. You're not going to stop them. But the more mainstream people, come on. I had Anthony Scaramucci on my show uh, earlier last month. And I asked him 30 years ago when people got vaccinated. He said, absolutely. Yeah, I know there's a fear of the government. I know the government needs to um, reinstill confidence uh, and, and people need to feel confident in the government, okay? I understand that, but come on, enough. Go and get vaccinated. If you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for your kids if you love your kids. Because if you don't do it, you don't give a shit about your kids. And maybe people say, oh, that's blood, that's too far, you're going too far. No, I'm not. If you don't get vaccinated, how are you going to tell me you care about your kids? Because you damn sure don't care about my kids if they're vaccinated. Enough. You always hear me say hashtag move humanity forward. I like to get past this shit. A lot of people did the right thing, but a lot of people still refuse to do it. What's it going to take? You scream about a mandate. You don't want a mandate. I don't want to, I don't want to see a mandate, but you know what? If that's the only way to get people to get vaccinated, then so be it. But this, this shit with the schools, with, you, with your kids, that you don't want them to wear a mask. When did you make the rules for the schools? Do the schools, do the school board come out and tell you what to do in your bedroom sexually? Do they tell you what to say publicly? No, but you want to tell them. You want to tell them. So what's next? You don't need to get a driver's license. You don't need to learn to drive. We'll just drive without a driver's license. You don't want to stop at a red light because you don't want to be told to stop at a red light. You don't want to pay your taxes because you don't want to be told to pay your taxes. You don't want to pay your mortgage because you don't want to be told by the mortgage company you got to pay your mortgage. Sound insane? Yeah, it does. Well, that's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Wake the fuck up, America. You're, you're, you're killing us from within. I've been vaccinated now since May. My second shot. And when I'm eligible to get the booster, Devin and I will get the booster shot. Because first of all, we care about humanity, but we care about ourselves enough that we don't want to get sick from something that you can get a, a booster and vaccinations for. All of this behind Donald John Trump, a motherfucker that doesn't give a shit about you. How fucking stupid. And people just say, oh, you, you shouldn't say they're stupid. You're never going to get them to come. I don't want you to come to my side. How about that? Stay the fuck on your side. And, and you want to, uh, Texas and all these fucking states, you want to uh, not be part of the United States? Fuck you. 
leave, leave. And for the people who say, well, I live in Texas. I don't want that to happen. You know what? Do you want to be around these people? Let them fucking leave. Leave the fucking state. Let the state collapse. Cut off their fucking funding because they're traitors. It's ridiculous. We're going to be two years here soon with this bullshit. And it doesn't stop. But you're patriots. You ain't fucking patriots. You're traitors. You're like rabid animals. You're no different. But we're supposed to have thoughts and prayers when you get sick. Or when you can't get a fucking hospital bed, somebody has a heart attack, but they can't get a hospital bed because they got fucking COVID patients that are anti-vaxxers. I wish that we would stop that shit. If you don't get fucking vaccinated, guess what? You don't get to go to the hospital. Get a doctor to come to your house. And if you can't get one, fucking die. Who cares at this point? Because you don't care. It's ridiculous. I'm fucking tired of it. All right, folks. That's another episode of Bad Brad's Thoughts. Chime in, whether you agree with me, you don't agree with me, that's fine. Leave comments, that's fine. But remember what I always tell you, to get respect, you must show respect. So if you come on there and you disagree with me, we can have a conversation about talking points. But I'm fucking sick and tired of it. This is ridiculous. It never stops. The cult of fucking Trump never stops. Go off the fucking cliff, Thelma Louise with this guy already, and take him with you. And be best and them rotten ass fucking children of his and that douchebag little prick son in law of his. It's enough. That's another Bad Brad's Thoughts in the Can. Again, follow me on Twitter at Bad Brad RSR. Again, at Bad Brad RSR. Subscribe to my channel. If you do and we're on Twitter, you're on Twitter with me, let me know. I like to personally always thank people that, that subscribe and show me support. Okay? And remember, folks, every act of kindness is a little love we leave behind. Bad, Brad, out.